How to install your Tank Alert AB Alarm System A qualified service person must install and service this product according to applicable electrical and plumbing codes. Failure to follow the precautions in this video could result in serious injury or death. This product must be installed in accordance with National Electric Code, ANSI slash NFPA 70. The Tank Alert AB indoor alarm system is primarily used for monitoring a liquid level or high water alarm in sump basins, pump chambers, and other water tank applications. To install the Tank Alert AB, the only tools you'll need are a tape measure and a screwdriver. Let's get started. Step 1. Mount the alarm. The first thing you'll need to do is determine where to install your alarm. There are two factors that you'll want to take into consideration. First, you'll need to place the alarm near an outlet to provide power. Second, you'll need to make sure that the alarm is located close enough to the tank for the control switch that you have. The Tank Alert AB comes standard with a 15-foot SJE Signal Master control switch. If that's the float you have, then you'll want to be within approximately 10 feet of the tank. Once you have determined the mounting location, you will need the two mounting screws provided with the alarm. Insert the first screw into the wall where you'd like the top of the alarm to go. You can install directly into a wall stud, or you can use a wall anchor if there's not a stud available. Now you can use the keyhole slot on the back of your alarm to hang the Tank Alert AB from the first screw. Secure the unit by installing the second screw through the hole in the bottom tab. Step 2. Install the control switch. Now that you've mounted your alarm, your next step is to install the SJE Signal Master control switch. Using the clamp provided, you'll attach it to the cable 3.5 inches from the float cap. Install the clamp around the cable as shown. For this video, we're going to show the pipe discharge mounting method for your float. For that, you will attach the float cable clamp assembly to the discharge pipe. The SJE Signal Master control switch is a narrow angle float, so you should position it approximately an inch and a half under the water level at which you want your Tank Alert AB alarm to activate. This is because when the water rises to that level and tips the float up, it will trigger an alarm condition. Step 3. Wire the control switch to the alarm. After you've installed your control switch to the discharge pipe, the next step is to wire the control switch to the alarm. There are two terminal block positions located underneath the alarm box. Simply take the end of your cable and, using your screwdriver, attach one conductor under each of one of the two terminals. Step 4. Install the battery backup. Our next step will be to install the user-supplied 9-volt alkaline battery. Remember, this is a battery backup unit, which means you should change your battery every 12 months or after each alarm condition. To install the battery, first remove the battery cover. Then you'll attach the battery to the battery strap supply, tuck it in the pocket, and snap the cover back on. Step 5. Install the strain relief cord clamp. Our next step will be to install the strain relief cord clamp to the electrical outlet as shown. Step 6. Plug in and test your alarm. The last step is to plug in the power cord. The green power on light should be illuminated. Now it's time to test the alarm. There are two quick tests you should perform to make sure your alarm is working properly. The first one is to push the test switch button and verify that when the alarm sounds, the red light also illuminates. The second test is to tip your control switch up to verify that it's wired properly. When you do that, it's also a good time to test your silence button. You can see that when the silence button is on, the red alarm light remains lit, but the audible horn is silenced. When you tip the float back down, the alarm condition clears. Now your installation is complete. Now you know how to install your Tank Alert AB alarm system. Remember that you need to replace the alarm battery every 12 months and after each alarm condition. We also recommend that you test your alarm weekly to ensure proper operation. Thank you for watching this video, and please remember if you have questions, visit our website at www.sjerhombus.com 
or give us a call at 1-888-342-5753.